Hello everyone, it's Margaret Berry here with this week's Tuesday tip. This week I have a nifty little tip for you that you can apply to pretty much any of your workouts, but especially if you do the T-Tap Low Kata workouts that I teach, this is gonna kind of blow your mind a little bit. And some of you guys who've been doing this for a long time, you may actually know this little hack, but for those of you who are new to this, you're gonna love it. So let's say that you're doing um, a walking workout or something where you know you're pulling the mitten hands or the bare claw hands so in a lot of my videos we use the bare claw hand where you pull back the knuckle stretch the thumb or we use the mitten hand where your fingers are super glued together but you're pulling back the fingertips you can see that right there pulling back the fingertips stretching the thumb okay why do you stretch the thumb does anyone know the answer to that why do we really hammer home the stretch the thumb, stretch the thumb, stretch the thumb? Well, as it turns out, stretching the thumb is a trigger for those latissimus dorsi. The lat muscles are the muscles that are in the back of the body. They're a posterior chain muscle and they're extremely important for posture, but they're also very important for lymphatic drainage. You have a duct called the thoracic duct that's in the middle of your back, kind of under your shoulder blades. Whenever we squeeze muscles around that area, local to the area, as we do in a lot of the moves in T-Tap, whenever you're doing that, you're triggering the release of the thoracic duct, which means better lymph flow, less stagnant lymphatic fluid, and better immune response. Also, the latissimus dorsi is a big muscle, and muscles, different muscles burn different fuels or different combos of fuels. Just so it turns out, the latissimus dorsi's favorite food is glucose. It's one of those muscles that burns a lot of glucose for energy. So if you're working a big muscle that burns a lot of glucose, you're gonna see more of an effect of caloric burn and also helping your body with blood sugar homeostasis when you're working that. So back to what I was saying about stretching the thumb. Stretching your thumb is a trigger for the latissimus dorsi muscle. Now you're gonna feel this. So I want you to try this. So take your hands into the mitten hand position. Now mitten hand in itself is very lymphatic because you are pulling through that elbow, through the armpit, all the way to your fingertips. When you, again, super glue the fingers together, pulling back the fingertips. So this is flat, fingers together flat. This is pulling back the fingertips. So hold that pulling back the fingertips. Don't stretch the thumb yet, okay? Feel the sensory feeling of what that feels like to pull back the fingertips, okay? Now I want you to add the stretch the thumb. All right, ready? Stretch the fingertips. Now one, two, three, stretch the thumb. You should feel a little something, something back there in your back. Try it again. Relax the thumb. Pull back the fingers. So we're still doing mitten hand, but we're not stretching the thumb yet. Ready, set, stretch the thumb down. Ooh, you should feel it. It's right about, it's right in this little area, right in there, that you should feel something happening when you stretch the thumb. Now let's try it with bear claw as well. So bring back the knuckles. So don't dig the knuckles in. Bring back the knuckles. Now ready? Thumbs lazy. Thumb stretch. Oh wow. Thumbs lazy. Thumb stretch. You should feel that muscle tension being created in that area of the body just by stretching your thumb. As it turns out, the thumb is connected by the fascia and the just the chain of how muscles work. It's connected to the latissimus dorsi muscle. So in any workouts that you're doing, when you hear someone say stretch the thumb, or even if you don't do T-TAP inspired workouts and you're just doing a workout and you want to really work those lats, stretch the thumb. It will go a long way. I hope that you enjoyed this week's tip. Some of you guys may already know this, especially if you're a old school tea tapper, you're like, yes, we knew that. That's why she's always like, stretch a thumb, stretch a thumb, stretch a thumb. But if not, I hope that you take this with you and apply it to your workouts because you will be surprised at how much more activation you get in those important postural muscles with just very simple cues such as this. Thanks as always for watching guys and I'll see you next week.